Hi, Scorpio. All right, so the energy I get around you is there's someone who's been wanting to tell you something or they've been waiting for you to tell them something. It's basically that there's feelings there. I thought there's somebody who would like to open up, but they're afraid to. I know, not helpful, but that's just what came through. I can't help its channel. I just want to tell you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, another thing I got for you this coming week was there's someone who may try to trip you up in a sense of, like, they could kind of, like, antagonize you. I feel like it, it, it could be a man or a woman. I'm not getting any gender specific, and it could be, like, at your job. It could be a family member or somebody you're just around. Someone who, I don't know, it feels like they are... Like mad at you Scorpio and they may like try to irritate you this week or say something or someone that could even be like their own mother someone who like kind of likes to poke you this I don't know I feel like they are agitated with their life they're not happy and they want to say something to you or take it out on you all you need to do is just give them that Scorpio look not say anything and walk away and they get the picture they're trying to <clears throat> I don't know, engage you in an argument is what I'm getting but if you don't engage, and then there's nothing there to do. You know what I mean? Like So those were the two things that came up uh, when I was trying to manifest. Well, not manifest, I'm sorry. When I was channeling messages. Okay, so overall energy is the star, the seven of cups, the six of cups. First thing I'm feeling right here is there's somebody who like, has good thoughts about you. Very good. This is a different energy. This is someone who... You missing you, Scorpio, with this star card with the Seven of Cups. In fact, this is someone who has options. They have other people, but they like you. They want you. They have good memories or thoughts of you with the Six of Cups here. The Hermit, they've been missing you. And, or they could be kind of quiet. They could be like wanting to spend a little time on their own. And as a Scorpio, you probably get that. So, or they could be an actual Virgo. Virgo, Aquarius is here. The Six of Swords, something could be moving forward now in this connection. So this person has the star card as the overall energy and the strength card. Could be a Leo. Leo Aquarius energy here. Look at this person is very attractive. I feel like they also find you very attractive, Scorpio. Under the deck, I am noticing the Ten of Cups. Oh, and the Two of Cups is in here. Wow. The Five of Cups is in reverse with the Four of Wands. I feel like this is someone who just wants peace. Like if the two of you had an argument, which I'm not... I don't know if you have, because I don't really see it here, but the Five of Wands is in reverse. This is someone who doesn't like to argue. They want to keep the peace. They like to be happy when it comes to you anyways. Now, this is someone, though, I get that could be very athletic on my hand, or they could work out a lot in the gym and be very muscular, or they could just be um, like maybe outdoorsy. I'm also seeing someone who's very smart, who may work at, work with computers or in, you know, in an office with any, any sort of management or... Um, prestige, high-level job, something like that is also what I'm getting, but seven of cups, the moon, yeah. It's like, I feel like this person is emotional about you, because look at the high priestess also under here. I feel like this person knows there's a draw to you, a connection to you. They're drawn to you. Um, they find you very alluring, very attractive. They like that you're so, well, the first one I'm getting is spicy, so some, they find you to be a bit feisty also. I said spicy, but I'm going to change it to feisty, but they like that you are, I don't want to say secretive, but there's something about you that, that you're hard to figure out. You always keep this person guessing. They love just talking to you or being around you because you always have different things to say. When you do talk, you must be comfortable on this person. I know for Scorpio, small talk is difficult. So this must be someone that you either talk to, have been talking to, Maybe someone also for a few of you, I'm not really seeing work here, but it could be somebody like in the office how, that you guys maybe haven't talked a lot, but they're very intrigued by you. But yeah, the lovers. I mean, look at this energy that's coming out in your reading. There's a strong like, magnetic pull. You might have, and this is, I actually don't get this. I'm just looking at the cards here because it's a little boy with a dog and now he's older. So like time has passed. And this also feels like maybe there's been time that has passed between the two of you, or just you, maybe you maybe you have known them for a long time. And of course, that's Gemini energy, but they could be dreaming about you. If you've been together physically, maybe they're recalling that, or if they're not, they're thinking what it would be like to be with you. And I got the Fool. 
So you have almost all major arcana here, except for the six and seven of cups, which is interesting, cup cards, nice cup cards actually. And now you have the fool. This person is ready to like come out of a cocoon. Now this could be you. This is in the usually unknown position and it could be that maybe things have been held up or held back, but now you're ready to move forward. And maybe you didn't know things were going so slow or because you have the Six of Swords and the Alchemist. I'm sorry, that's not Major Arcana. This is Six of Swords and the Emperor. I'm not surprised. That is the energy I'm picking up off this person. Man or woman, this is like an Emperor energy. Very strong. It's funny because I'm looking at her, what's in her hand. It reminds me of like a water bottle. Like You may carry a water bottle. I don't think that's what it is, but it's just what it reminds me of. I don't know what it is. But it's like someone may be carrying a water bottle with them. What's funny is he also has something in his hand. Now his reminds me of like a big chess piece. Like maybe someone who likes to play chess. And again, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be either, but I get this person is definitely smart. I know I've already said that, I believe, but I just kind of get that. Cool confidence. What else about this Emperor energy? They may be in Aries, but I'm not surprised that it came out as a major arcana card for this energy. Nine of Cups. You're going to be pleasantly, look at your end of the deck, pleasantly surprised by this person. I'm going to say there's been a change with this person, but I feel like they've always kind of been this way. But they may be more open. Behind you, there's the Ace of Swords. I feel like that's just Scorpio energy. I feel like it's very bold, very forward. Maybe you have something you want to say. Again, this may be the person that wants to say something to you. They want to reveal feelings or they want you to talk to them more or say something to them. They may feel like you're, you've are you been holding back. They may feel like they don't want to push you. I feel like this is a person that's super confident. And again, they're not insecure about you not wanting to talk if there's been a lapse here in conversation or something. So you like this person or you will like this person, definitely. It's definitely a strong connection. Someone who's got a good head on their shoulders. They're, again, they're not like flitty or flighting, you know, running around. Seven of Swords. I'm, I am clarifying you, Scorpio. So the Seven of Swords here. Hiding your feelings. You opened up to this person, the Ace of Swords, but then you closed off. That's what I'm kind of feeling. I mean, you could feel that's what they did to you. Take it as it resonates. But maybe you felt kind of vulnerable around this person. Or there was, an, there was this window where you felt this strong draw or attraction to them, but you have maybe since Seven of Swords pulled your energy back and decided not to move forward. Or at least, let's see, Seven of Swords, what is Scorpio doing here? What are you feeling, Scorpio? Pair of thoughts. Well, you like this person. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, the two of you would be good together. And this, there is definitely this draw. I feel like there was like this window where you guys looked at each other or you knew like this is my person. I'm really drawn to them. And then you guys both may have pulled back at the same time for whatever reason. But the energy still, is still there. It lingers. So let me go to the full energy because I feel like this person has been pondering you. And that's not a word I use. So it's kind of funny that pondering, thinking about you. I always know in spirit because they always give me words that I wouldn't normally say. But... Pondering the thought of you, thinking about you. Two of coins is in reverse. So to me, that's making up their mind, putting something else down, making a decision to drop one thing or to, you know, it doesn't have to be another person. Maybe the decision was, should they move forward with you or should they hold back? What have they decided? Page of Wands is also in reverse. So maybe your Nine of Coins is under the deck. Maybe they decided to take things a little slow. This feels like something that could go from zero to 100 very quickly, especially in the passion department. So maybe they want to slow things down and get to know you, get to know each other. Um, slow, more, more slowly. I was, was looking for a different word, so I'm going to keep repeating the same word. But um, deciding they want to get to know you but they okay some of you there may be like there was a pullback as far as the physical connection maybe there was going to be too much intimacy too soon and they and you or them or both of you are going to decide to like take things slower to get to know each other to 
because you maybe you're seeing long term with them and they're seeing that with you so they don't want to rush things i have the sun behind here the seven of coins yeah i think the seven of coins is in this deck a very nurturing energy the seeds have been planted for this connection but you don't want to like grab that little tree bush whatever too soon and you know you you're going to kill it so you got to keep it going slowly i also like one of you may be um gone or visiting a family or friends or traveling or so you know working so you may not be around each other right now right i'm seeing this guy really smile out on this hair font and you look very happy i think there's also the secret knowing that you guys will be together because look what's under the deck slow but surely getting ahead so slowly but surely moving ahead and remember the first energy was six of swords so it is a slow energy so you may be kind of thinking something's going wrong, but it's not. It's going right. It's actually good. Throne, position of authority. This could be you or them or both of you, actually, depending on your status right now, what you do. There's going to be changes in your life, and it says successful outcome to your problems. It could be talking about this. I don't see this as a, quote, a problem. But I feel when I stop for this one, um, something else may be going on for you as well, Scorpio. This could be something with a car or an apartment or home or, a, you know, an office, a job, something like that with the key coming out. So it tells me that things could be shifting for you. I believe I did, did I do an October for Scorpio? I don't remember. I might do one later today. But I do feel like things, watching the, the um, astrology for Scorpios, it's supposed to change, get better in, in October. I may have been hearing things like that, but it, it does appear because of all the planetary movements to be getting, you know, shifting. So what does Scorpio need to know about this person? Message in a bottle. You'll be receiving communication from them. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this person... Okay, first I'm going to do an overall energy of just your love life. I definitely feel like this is emperor empress status you come up as empress energy um, i feel like there's a lot of flirting that's going to happen with this person coming up here okay says so new love and this could be the one yeah what would this person say to you from this deck i'm going to just grab a couple from this deck so sometimes i stay awake thinking about you I feel like again that was that pondering that thought that those feelings that got off that car that they uh sit and think about you a lot i want to feel that way again so again i don't think you're communicating a lot right now or you're not around each other a lot there's something that really woke them up there was a spark i get chemistry between the two of you or how they felt i'm going to tell you how i feel and that's exactly what i picked up when i was channeling uh, somebody wants to tell you how they feel but they're taking it slow what is the overall energy of this connection? What is the overall energy of this reading? Okay, so this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Let's see what that is. Let's go to a different deck because, oh, Scorpio. Maybe you need to be strong as they split the deck. There you are next to the strength card. It could be a uh, Leo, Gemini energy, lovers. Maybe it is to hold back. Maybe the lesson is to hold back a little bit, get to know each other first. But what is the lesson? I get this person really admires you. You've been through a lot and you're very tough. Also the strength card. And this person appreciates that about you. They may want to make your life easier or maybe they're just going to come in and make your life a little easier. But um, what else? What is the lesson, Spirit? To move ahead. Yeah, I have a king of wands now under the deck. The lesson is to move ahead, to, to let the past go. I get there's going to be changes then for you, Scorpio, with Chariot. Chariot's about leaving things behind, people behind, situations behind, and getting going in a totally new direction. I feel like your life has been fragmented is kind of what I'm getting. There could be things ending, health issues. Just I don't get like bad endings, you know. I don't get like something that you are going to miss. I feel like your life has kind of been scattered is what I'm seeing in my mind. Like you're doing a lot of different things, but you feel very um, overwhelmed at times. But I feel like the cherry is a lesson like to move forward smoothly. I feel like your life could change quite a bit with this person. Like you could be living in a new area. You could be doing something new for money. You could be... Um, making new friends, that type of thing. 
if you you know have been sedentary now maybe you're going to be able to get back into the gym or work out or go walking just like i feel like a very strong shift in your life soulmates i don't know if it's supposed to be in reverse it came out in reverse uh, there may be a soulmate that you are leaving behind possibly i think like this person is a soulmate they could be a twin flame maybe you don't see that right away i feel like um we have a lot of soulmates one more being flexible fork in the road the only thing i am thinking here is that you might think that this person person really loves you nine of cups it came out with the king of you know the emperor energy and the nine of cups and then with the throne card maybe you're feeling like this person is not the one initially i think this person could also be like a doctor or a um i don't know a lawyer but i'm getting somebody who could be very busy very wealthy i also get some scorpios who may feel like this person doesn't have won't or won't have time for you or the connection but that's not true so you may initially feel like this maybe this isn't the one or something or maybe that's why you kind of pulled back your energy maybe you feel they're not your soulmate because they pulled back because there was this pulling back or maybe not moving forward as fast as you were hoping or thinking but that's just the flexible part because you kind of look like you shut down to me with the seven of swords here that's kind of when you go in that scorpio mode like you're like now investigating and you thought things were going to go differently, Ace of Swords, but now you're kind of like, hmm, I hear the Mission Impossible thing going in my head. Very Scorpio. Looking for things, checking things out, wondering, hey, what is this person doing? You're probably searching online too. But anyways, um, don't overthink it because I feel like you don't know all the details yet. Maybe the last part of the lesson to not um, look at everyone with a side eye. Don't look at this person with a side eye. Just give it a chance. Be open. Because you do tend to prejudge things or not trust people before you give them a chance. And yes, it is a good defense mechanism, but maybe in this that's the lesson to go ahead and go forward with this connection. This person might buy you a car soon in the relationship or something like that as well, or a very big purchase, or maybe take you traveling or something as well. All right, anything else, Spirit? They're saying leave it there, so I am. So have a great week, Scorpio.